Hi, welcome to MCAT Strategy. This is my first video, so I hope you find it useful. Today we will be discussing verbal reasoning strategy, and today's strategy is one that I use personally, and it's one of the few that I actually use, and I call it the spectrum technique. One thing that you must always keep in mind with verbal reasoning is that the questions are based around the author's point of view. So you really need to understand the author and their opinions and arguments in order to be successful. Remember, with all questions, the way the author would respond is the correct answer that you are looking for. When reading a verbal reasoning passage, you must always focus on the main idea that is being presented and what the author's stance and position are. This technique is an additional tool that goes along with writing down the main idea. Many prep courses will tell you to write down whether the author has a positive, negative, or neutral stance. However, opinion, like many things, exists along a continuum, and I find this technique helps to capture that. I really like this technique because it is quick to use and is an effective visual reminder. To start off, after you have read the passage, always Always start by writing down the main idea or topic in a short sentence. After you have written down the main idea, draw a horizontal line with a negative sign to the left and a positive sign to your right. These of course represent the positive and negative sides. The next step is to draw a vertical line to represent where the author stands. See, the nice thing about this technique is that it represents a lot more possibilities than just positive, negative, or neutral. For example, if you put the line right in the middle, then you feel the author has a more neutral stance, where the author presents balanced arguments for both sides of the issue. Then of course you have positive and negative and this is when you feel the author presents arguments supporting primarily one side but they also acknowledge the existence and validity of counter arguments then you have very negative and very positive and this happens when you feel the author strongly supports one side and really they dismiss all the other counter arguments and all the other ways of looking at the issue Of course, these are just some of the more common examples that I've used to illustrate the use of this technique. And you can place the author's stance anywhere along the spectrum, depending on how positive or how negative you feel the author's tone is. So that's a pretty short video, and that's all for the technique. It's pretty simple, and it is very effective, so I encourage you to give it a try. And remember, with verbal reasoning, you need lots of practice to get good at it. This is my first video, so any suggestions you have for improving upon the show, you can leave down in the comment section. And please rate and subscribe if you like this video. I will do my best to respond to any comments or concerns or suggestions, and I will be back later for more MCAT strategy. Hope you found this video useful.